Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Joseph. He lived with his father, Jacob, and his many brothers. Jacob loved all his sons, but Joseph was his favorite. Joseph was a kind and gentle boy. He always tried to do what was right. To show his love, Jacob gave Joseph a very special gift. It was a beautiful coat of many colors. The coat was unlike anything anyone had ever seen. It shimmered with bright reds, blues, greens, and yellows. When Joseph wore the coat, he felt happy and loved. He knew that his father cared for him very much. However, Joseph's brothers did not understand why he received such a special gift. They worked hard in the fields every day. They felt that their father loved Joseph more than them. The colorful coat became a symbol of their father's favoritism. It reminded them of their own feelings of inadequacy and jealousy. As much as they tried to hide it, their resentment towards Joseph grew with each passing day. The sight of the colorful coat stirred up anger and bitterness in their hearts. The coat, meant to be a symbol of love, became a source of conflict and division within the family. Joseph's brothers began to avoid him. They didn't want to play with him or talk to him. They were angry at him for having the coat and being their father's favorite. Every time they saw the coat, their jealousy grew stronger. One day, Joseph had a dream. In his dream, he and his brothers were in a field, tying up bundles of grain. Suddenly, Joseph's bundle stood up straight. The brothers' bundles gathered around Joseph's bundle and bowed down to it. Joseph excitedly told his brothers about his dream. You will bow down to me, he exclaimed. His brothers were furious. They thought Joseph was being arrogant and boastful. They already resented him, and now he was saying they would bow to him. We'll never bow down to you, they shouted, their voices filled with anger. Over time, the brothers' jealousy and anger festered. They couldn't bear the thought of Joseph being favored by their father. They began to plot against him, wanting to see him gone from their lives. The colorful coat, a symbol of their father's love for Joseph, now represented everything they felt they lacked. Joseph had another dream. This time he saw the sun, the moon, and eleven stars bowing down to him. Excitedly, Joseph shared this dream with his brothers and his father. Even the sun, moon, and stars will bow down to me, he declared, his eyes sparkling with wonder. Jacob, however, was troubled by this dream. He recognized its significance and feared what it might mean for Joseph's future. The brothers, on the other hand, were enraged. Do you think you'll be a ruler over us? They scoffed. We'll never bow down to you. Their hearts hardened against Joseph, and they plotted to get rid of him. Their jealousy had consumed them, leaving no room for reason or brotherly love. They saw Joseph's dreams as a threat, a sign that he would one day have power over them. They couldn't bear the thought and their minds raced with ways to eliminate the perceived threat. Their resentment, fueled by the dreams, pushed them further down a path of deceit and betrayal. Section 4. Cast Away, A Brother's Betrayal One day Jacob sent Joseph to check on his brothers, who were tending sheep in a distant field. Seeing Joseph in the distance, his brothers devised a wicked plan. Let's kill him and throw him into a pit, they whispered amongst themselves, their faces twisted with malice. We'll tell our father a wild animal ate him. Then we'll see what becomes of his dreams. One of the brothers, Reuben, felt a pang of guilt. He didn't want to kill Joseph. Let's not kill him, he pleaded. Let's just throw him into this empty pit. The brothers agreed, stripping Joseph of his precious coat and tossing him into the deep, dark hole. As Joseph cried out for help, his brothers sat nearby, eating and laughing, their hearts hardened against his pleas. They had cast him aside, believing they had silenced his dreams and secured their own positions. Section 5. A Father's Grief. The Deception of the Bloody Coat. As the brothers continued their meal, a group of merchants approached, their camels laden with goods. Judah, another brother, saw an opportunity. Why not sell him to the merchants, he suggested. We can make a profit and get rid of him at the same time. The brothers agreed and sold Joseph to the merchants for 20 pieces of silver. To cover up their evil deed, the brothers took Joseph's coat and dipped it in goat's blood. They brought the blood-stained coat back to their father, Jacob. We found this, they said, feigning sadness. Is this your son's coat? Jacob recognized the coat instantly. It's my son's coat, he cried out in anguish. A wild animal must have devoured him. Jacob tore his clothes and wept bitterly for his beloved son. He refused to be comforted. 
his heart shattered by the loss and the cruel deception. Section 6, A New Land, A New Life. Joseph in Egypt. Meanwhile, Joseph was taken to Egypt, a land far away. He was sold as a slave to Potiphar, a wealthy Egyptian official. Though far from home and family, Joseph remained kind and hardworking. He served Potiphar faithfully and God blessed him. Even in a foreign land, facing unimaginable hardships, Joseph's spirit didn't break. He carried within him the love of his father and the belief in a greater plan, even though he couldn't see it yet. His story reminds us that even in the darkest of times, hope and faith can guide us. Joseph's journey from a beloved son to a betrayed brother to a slave in a foreign land was just the beginning of an extraordinary story orchestrated by a divine hand.